In this video we do something a little different. We finish a high power rocket. Oh wait, no, I'm wrong actually. We're starting another one that's going to be unfinished at the end of this video. Welcome back to another episode of Rocky Vlogs. Thank you very much for tuning in. Sorry about the noise. Office next to the laundry room. Laundry gets done in the laundry room. But I have to work later, so we're on a time crunch. A couple months ago, I won a full-scale HV Arcus all fiberglass kit in a uh, auction that was going on um, that was benefiting a uh, person. A rocketeer had passed away, and they were giving the money to his widow. So uh, I put a bid on it. I've always wanted a full-scale Arcus because one of my first mid-power rockets ever was an Aerotech Arcus. There was just one gripe I had with this kit when it came here, and it's that it came with a 54 millimeter motor mount. Now. It's a four and a half inch rocket. There's plenty of 54 millimeter motors that'll give it a pretty good kick. It's just not quite extreme enough for me. So I ordered stuff to make it into a 98 millimeter motor mount. In a four and a half inch rocket, you can see that doesn't leave a lot of wiggle room. The first thing we're gonna have to do to make this pipe dream a reality is uh, trim down the fins because right now they're meant to go to this motor tube and we need them to go to this motor tube. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do it, and I'm going to put it in voiceover so you don't have to listen to that. Oh sweet, sweet voiceover mode, we meet once again. First thing I'm going to do for this rock is we're going to take out the set of digital calipers and measure the 54mm tube's outside diameter, and then follow it up by measuring the 4-inch tube's outside diameter. You can see that the tube is a little bit too big in diameter to get my calipers around it the short way, so we had to go to the end of the tube. Impressively, it's exactly four inches outside diameter. I was making sure I wasn't getting that reading wrong, but that is indeed what it showed up as. Now it's time to do some real rocket science in the form of very simple arithmetic. We take the four inch outside diameter of the bigger motor tube, and subtract the 2.29 inch outside diameter of the smaller motor tube, gives us a total of 1.71 inches divided by two, that's 0.855. To give myself a little post-cut wiggle room, I set the calipers to 0.85, leaving that five thousandths of an inch as a sanding space, if you will. Now we're going to use a digital caliper set at 0.85 inches to mark each end of the fin 0.85 inches from the end of the current tab. We're doing it on both sides so that we can take a straight edge and line it up and draw a perfectly straight line to follow with whatever your cutting tool of choice is. Now you'll recall me in that clip you saw just a second ago saying that I didn't round up to 0.86 because I wanted to leave a little wiggle room for corrections. It's because I don't have a precise saw to cut these with. So I'm gonna use an angle grinder. Oh, how the mighty have fallen going from having a shop with a lift and working on cars all the time to not having a space other than a table in my backyard to cut fins and no tools other than an angle grinder. But fortune favors the brave, right? So maybe if I keep cutting G10 fiberglass with an angle grinder, uh, this channel will blow up enough that I can buy a house with a garage. In the meantime though, uh, my years of hacky welding and cutting of stuff with angle grinders has made me a pretty straight cut with the thing. So it actually came out pretty good. To make final corrections, I busted out a belt sander, set it on its side, and locked the trigger switch down so that I could uh, freehand some smooth finishes for these fin tabs that are now the correct length. Or at least I thought they were. We'll get back to that in a second, but now it's time for everybody's favorite part of rocketry. And by that, I mean the one thing about rocketry that actually makes me consider not doing it anymore sometimes. Sanding. Motor tube going together is pretty standard affair stuff, leaving half of an inch for the retainer, which in this case is going to be a slimline retainer from Giant Leap, because an Aeropack retainer will not fit in a four and a half inch rocket with a 98 millimeter mount. I've never run into that issue before. As usual, we mark up from the half inch line to the length of our fins, leaving room for the rear centering ring. And after that, we just start gluing stuff together. Also, much like most of my other high power rockets, I sanded out a little bit of a groove in the top centering ring to allow a one inch piece of Kevlar strap to pass through, which I tie a knot in and then wet out with epoxy and glue it to the motor tube. I only have about three feet here, but that acts as a perfect anchor for the rest of our shock cord down the road. Just make sure it's long enough to pull all the way out of the fin can and tie a knot to, that way you don't have to try and reach in there and tie it from within. I just want to interject real quick quick and tell you guys a lesson I learned today it's to always zero this before using it so what I had measured is 0.85 had it with uh, it was in the negatives when I zeroed it out initially 
So the fin tabs are still about an eighth of an inch too big. So I'm gonna have to cut them down some more, but for now we're going to glue the uh, motor tube in. And once again, we're back to the normal stuff. Mix up the epoxy, reach in there, spin it all the way around, put the motor tube assembly in, spin it around so the epoxy gets on all the bonding surfaces pretty evenly, and then you're done. Uh, like I said, the fin tab is the wrong depth, but uh, I was just using that to reference where I need to put this motor tube assembly, make sure the fins are about flush with the back of the rocket, which is right about there. Frankly, I couldn't have said it better myself, but now it's time to glue the fins in. Now, the fin slots in this rocket were insanely tight, which I kind of like because it makes it very easy to make sure the fins are going in straight. So if you see me tapping the fin with a rubber mallet, note that that's not a very common rocketry thing, but when it comes to fiberglass, you can be pretty aggressive with stuff, and this actually gave a good opportunity to make sure the fins were locked in very securely which will be the ease of mind of a lot of people who still think that CA shouldn't be used for tacking fins and high power rocketry. And look at that, there's my beautiful bottle of thick Bob Smith Industries CA. And Bob's your uncle, all four fins are on. Look at that. Thank you guys for tuning in to yet another episode of Rocket Vlogs. We got a good start on the Arcus. But what I haven't told you thus far is that the CA tacking is especially forgivable in this particular rocket's case uh, because it is going to be getting tip to tip carbon fiber on the fins that's why it's got a 98 millimeter motor mount because i'd like to push this thing to 2000 miles an hour which is about mach 2.6 um i don't know how soon that's going to be feasible it's going to take something pretty serious it's like a m3400 might do it a cti m5600 should maybe an aerotech m6000 something along those lines it's going to have to be a pretty spicy motor uh, you can see that I had a little issue with cutting the uh, fin tab on that top fin there, so there's a little bit of a gap in uh, all the leading edges. I could have brought it down a little bit more, but I didn't want to have to cut an angle into the fin root. Uh, I'll just fill, shape the tips with epoxy before we do the carbon fiber, and uh, all will be well. So, yeah, this is going to be a little bit more involved than most of my rocket builds, but it's going to be very cool when it's done. So we're CA tacking everything, and then we're going to do fillets, and then on top of those fillets, we're going to do tip-to-tip -tip carbon fiber. We're going to do one set that's not full tip-to-tip -tip with just some cloth that goes about three-quarters of the way up the fins, and then do a full tip-to-tip -tip over that. So, yeah, at any rate, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you want to see some behind-the-scenes stuff, stuff, check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash rocketvlogs. Thank you to my supporters. Their names are rolling across the screen right now. And uh, if you just want to help support the channel but you don't want to throw any money at me, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. We're almost 10,000 subscribers at 10,000 subscribers. I'm giving away one of those white wolf kits. It's still unbuilt. It's in the box behind me. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you next time.